lost. Tales. Where did the world come from? Who created the gods? Why were they created? Questions like this pervade religious thought, and ancient Egyptian religion was no different. Creation Myths of Ancient Egypt The ancient Egyptians had many creator gods and associated legends. The different creation accounts were each associated with the cult of a particular god in one of the major cities of Egypt that are Hermopolis, Heliopolis, Memphis, and Thebes. In this video series we will cover the four main creation myths of Egypt based on Ined of Heliopolis, Ogdode of Hermopolis, Theology of Memphis, Theban Theology, Ined of Heliopolis. Heliopolis is a Greek word, and it means city of the sun. It is the ancient Egyptian city of Iwo, now modern day, Ein Shams, and other parts of Greater Cairo. The word Ined is a Greek word that means a collection of nine things. The Great Ined of Heliopolis is composed of nine deities from Heliopolis cult center. Although there are some variations available to the story of creation myth of Heliopolis, we will focus on the most popular ones which centers around the god Otum, who is associated with the god Ra. The myth goes like this. In the beginning there was nothing, but a dark, watery abyss of chaos, the primordial ocean of Nun. And then, out of the Nun, came the Benben. Benben, the earthy mound shaped like a primitive pyramid emerged, and became the place out of which, the sun rose for the first time, to light the world. It also became the place where the first god, Otum, stood. Otum is the source of everything in this world, and thus he is the creator of all life. Before rising atop the Benben, Otum was just floating aimlessly within Nun, holding both male and female aspects within himself. At some point he willed himself to rise and then to create life. Through the agency of magic, he mated with his own shadow to give birth to two children. The god of air and emptiness, Shu. And his sister Tefnut, the goddess of moisture and mist. Once his first two children were created, and the one became three, chaos left the world and light entered it. After this first creative act, Otum wept. As his tears fell, they turned into men and women. At the same time, Shu and Tefnut mated and birthed two children of their own. The earth god Geb and the sky goddess Nut. Geb and Nut were born in such a tight embrace that they had to be separated by their father, Shu. As Geb lay down to form the earth, Shu, the god of air held Nut, the sky goddess and extended her over the earth. And so now the world as we know was formed, with air and moisture and sky and earth. And the men and women of the world. Geb and Nut then had their own children. Osiris, Set, Isis and Nephthys. Osiris then became the king of the earth and took Isis, goddess of magic and secrets as his beloved queen. Set, god of chaos, war, storms and the desert married Nephthys, the funerary goddess. The myth thus represented the process by which life was made possible. With this we have reached to the end of this video. In the next video of this series, we will look at the second creation myth of Egypt. The Ogdode of Hermopolis. Lost. Tales.